Hello and welcome to a new update of the Plastic Scanner project. With the Plastic Scanner project we're making a device that can identify different types of material to make plastic recycling simpler, more accessible and all of this in an open source kind of way. This is already update number 11, November. To me it really has gone and went by super quickly. Um, but we do have some really nice hardware updates. So. First, let's start off with something very simple, and that is this little board. We made a small, yeah, basically LED breakout board uh, where you can put the LEDs on it, and this one goes onto one of the prototypes. This makes it very easy to swap out different LEDs, so change from visible LEDs to infrared LEDs, and also to take infrared LEDs from one prototype to another because we were placing all of these LEDs on each of the different prototypes that can become rather expensive and we were still testing with a lot of different LEDs. So yeah, that's basically why we made this. Um, last month I already updated you guys that PCB wanted, PCB Way wanted to help out and um, yeah, basically they, they made this thing. So that's super nice. Um, I don't know. Quality looks good. It's a it's a proper PCB. Um, we tested all of the connections and that works. So yeah, they seem to do um, a good job on on making PCBs. And um, yeah, we're very happy that they're helping out with this open hardware development. So that's cool. Now this PCB also makes it a lot easier to make different test setups. So we're now working on. Um, a well this is basically an optical breadboard where we can easily put different LEDs in front of each other against each other measure the transmittance uh, uh, reflectance these kind of things so yeah this really helps to make a a flexible test setup to analyze the different boards And next up is some update from Marcus and Gustav. They have been working on making a basically an all-in-one sensor PCB. So what they did is they basically took the development board 2.0, they cut off all of the Arduino part and they really tried to cramp all of the sensor part in a small as possible PCB. So we got that uh, down to this super small PCB with all the sensor parts and easy to connect with, uh, with a small quick connector to, uh, to other PCBs uh, to make it a, a great fun little uh, breakout board. Ultimately, this is something that we would like to be able to provide that sell on a, on a web shop. Um, they are now testing the first iteration and yeah, it looks really cool. Everything is very compact. And it's, yeah, it's something that I could see being very useful. So you don't need to solder everything up yourself, but you can just buy this or buy a full kit where it's sort of mm, assembled for you. So yeah, I'm very happy with that development. And last up is the development that I did over the weekend and it's slightly different. It is a color scanner. So instead of a plastic scanner that uses information from the infrared spectrum, this is a, a color scanner that uses information on the visible spectrum. Makes, it is a bit counterintuitive to make a color scanner because we can just see the color of a product. Um, but we did find that it's actually quite nice and useful to get an idea to use it as a proxy for the plastic scanner. So we get the same sort of measurement data. We have eight points in the visual spectrum. We want to process this. We want to be able to upload this. We want to make sort of a database. So this really helps to, uh, yeah, to start playing around with how data flows, how you compensate, for example, for the spectral response of the LED, uh, the spectral sensitivity of the sensor. So yeah. Just a, a fun little project, but um, quite useful to have around. And these are basically the hardware updates. So yeah, 
I want to keep it to that for November's update. Um, and other than that, yeah, we're still working hard on the project. As mentioned in the previous video, probably at the end of the year, there's not like full complete documentation online because you find out that the project is a bit more complex than you initially think it is. Um, but we're eager to keep working on these challenges and to yeah, make new prototypes and make easier test setups. So with that, that's everything for this month. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to check again next month because probably then we have some nice updates as well from Gustav and Marcus on their sensor board. So yeah, see you again at the end of the year. Bye. I hope to see you around in the Discord chat.